Switch on our use. Try first switch. Hello, hi, is everyone with us? If you're with us, just say hi. At least I get to know that you're with me. And then, can you hear what I'm saying and talking about? Uh, if yes, you can hear our sound, just give us a thumbs up or a love. Um, today a bit technical problem but we are good to go yeah so today I'm here to just say that happy Saturday everyone <laughs> I'm it's been a while but we've been doing this on um, Facebook live and today here we are again let me check whether um, can I actually see the latest live here that you are with us yep let's see Oh, I saw myself. <laughs> yeah, so um, we are good to go. All right. Hi, everyone. Nice to meet you all again. I'm Chien from A Random Place. And today, we're going to create something fun again. And if you realize, this has been a new place that we have been put in um, into a much more crafty wipes in it. And today, we're going to bring you something really fun, okay? So... I wonder how's everyone. <laughs> it's been so long and it's been so much changes within this whole entire month and I think we are pretty much at home again but I think when we are together we will leave everything up easier together as well and when we stay home together that's where we can actually bring down the numbers and and, and just really get everyone to unite and move again. Yeah, so today the whole point is I just want to bring creative, love, fun and all the moments that you can create with Instax here on tonight. So uh, can I know and see who is with us today? Yeah. Alright. Nice to meet you all. Hi, Kashila. If you're with me, just say, um, send some love, share this live to as many craft lovers as possible. Yeah, um, today um, it's not only for adults, but it's also for children and it's also for anyone that love insects, okay? If you love insects, you always want to find ways how to bring the best out of this, especially this could be a way, a best gift way that you could, um, you could actually send it to, um, your loved ones surprise them okay i think this is where i get the idea from okay um because i think this moment uh, everyone just need to lift each other up with something really special and um i i guess a lot of people find joy in doing what they are most happy about and i have a friend that just bought an insects um camera and he just want to capture every single day i'm sure in this point of time the person that you're closest to is yourself um, he's starting to write journal or he's starting to create um, a lot of my friends starting to create some albums and and, and and we compile everything together yeah it's it's a lot more that we could actually bounce and create here so today I'm so glad that you're with me again and um, we're gonna do something really fun which is the photo holder <laughs> today we're gonna create something for the holder so if you are here with me like and share okay like um and those that um just come and join us please follow us at my insects club or a random place okay i'm chia from a random place and i always love to do design creative and all the beautiful little things that um that i can actually create and bring joy to many and not to forget if you're joining us today you will stand a chance to also win prizes okay you will also win prizes okay um so what prize you'll win is the album from insect stuff wonder photoshop and also um some stationaries a mixture of goodies of stationaries you have washi tapes you have stickers you have all the goodies that you could actually start doing an album or um 
or give to someone yeah to create all this it's all in there and it's so thoughtful from instax club and another thing is you will also send a chance to win the film and also my final products of what am i going to create today okay so be with us all the way until the end and do comment and you will stand a chance to win all these goodies and today i'm also going to share with you um uh, 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 an app that we've been using in uh, Mini Lane, which is also uh, co uh, collaborated with Nintendo Switch. So um, yeah, I will I will get back to you what you should actually type in. It's actually um, it's actually Mini Link, yeah, Mini um, Mini Link um, Nintendo Switch. You can actually find it there. Or uh, if not for um, for Apple user, I will actually put it in the in the comment later. You can actually catch up with us on this as well. So today, um, this is what we will be creating. So um, thank you for joining and seeing everyone online. I've been missing everyone so much here. Yeah. Um, thanks for joining, Tracy, C2. Um, yeah, I'm 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 actually very happy to be live again. Like you know, always be at home, and here we are sharing a lot of um craft ideas that actually can reach out to you and your family and loved ones. So not to go uh, any further on what I'm I gonna continue to talk about insects is today what we're gonna do is the photo holder that you can actually see here. They are just so cute. I show you. This is one that I do for my little cat. Yeah, it's actually um, using air dry clay. So any one of you actually use air dry clay before if you are Please comment and let me know what have you been doing with your air dry clay project Because this is something that I just um, I just got to be really uh, In love using it. Okay, so for those that know me, I've been playing with uh, polymer clay a lot but um, you know, polymer clay, if people that doesn't have an oven, you can't actually bake it and dry it. But the good news of this air dry clay is you get to dry it within 24 to 48 hours, depend on the size that you are going to create and do, you know. So this one maybe it takes about 24 hours or even a little one 24 hours. But this unicorn, it does take me about 48 hours. So good news is you get to harden up this clay and then you will actually need to paint it with acrylic paint so why not i bring you through what you need to prepare for today's craft time yeah okay so what you need to do for today's craft time is um we are going to do photo holder with air dry clay then you need to prepare this okay so um i am actually going to put you closer to me using the Lay. so you can actually have a look with what do I have on the table here with you okay so here we are what we have is the uh, scalp or the modeling clay there's two brands um, conveniently um, you can actually find it in Shopee yeah uh, you can get it either the um, this is the stone color that is also a terracotta color where you can also create your own pot with this okay so this is where you have um, the choices and what I'll be using today mostly are the very normal but also the premium modeling clay all right so um thanks for staying tuned here and you will get to learn this um, so today the topic is about photo holder okay creating photo holder with air dry clay and a photo holder that you could actually put all your instax photo and create a corner that that that, that speaks about inspiration team or you in any project so um this is the the clay that i'm using so you can actually find it in shopee all you need to look for is air dry clay okay so this costs about less than 10 ringgit so you can actually get this and do lots of project with this one trust me okay then next one you need to prepare is the uh, the triangle pin paper pin so that you could actually do a little project like um, this one, the sushi one where I have a pin that pin on top of it, okay? So this is what you can actually create, okay? The next thing you will need to prepare is also a wire a wire that you use it to, to turn it and create that, that swirl so that you can actually clip that insect's picture in between just like this little unicorn here, you see? So it's actually quite cute, okay? Next is what you need to prepare is a plier to cut and turn the wire 
and then of course you're going to prepare your own insects printer and um, today I'll be printing out this already but I'm using the Nintendo Switch app to have a little um, pretty borders see it's so cute so you can actually um, choose a team like the Pikachu or even the um, the I think the Mario team yeah and then you get to actually find which one is your favorite and choose that so um, if Apple user go and look for the um, link for switch then you can actually find the uh, mini link Nintendo switch app okay so um, it's actually very fun this is something new that I got to know and I think this is perfect for kids or perfect for people that love Nintendo switch yeah okay next Print out, just print out any photos, okay? And then after that, prepare your acrylic paint. Um, something with primary red color, blue color, or yellow color. It will be just fine for you to mix around. And after that, all the sculpting tools that you need. Like um, the blade and then the wooden sculpting tools to combine and flatten up your clay work later on. And all this little... Um, other tools that you'll be using along the way to create other projects too, okay? So, thanks for joining and thanks. I've been seeing all the hearts. Hello, everyone. Miss all of you and I hope all of you are doing well, okay? Um, I will try to to see who do we, how, how any question you would like to know, just put in the comment. Either I will reply you or even the Insects Club team will reply you too. So yeah, just just have fun tonight, okay? And after that, all you need other thing is the Mod Podge. Actually, I, I before this, I used the setting glaze, but the setting glaze um, is only this size and it's not so... Um, <laughs> It, the price is not, not as reasonable as the Mod Podge. So you can actually use the Mod Podge to final glaze the layer at the end, okay? So, this is what you need to have. If you have it at home the best, you could actually start creating from there, okay? So I hope that you are with me. And then for you tonight, if you want to stand a chance to win prizes, do come and um, uh, interact with us and also tell me what, what app do we use today. Yeah, what app do we use today, okay? And ask any question and just let me um, share with your friends. Share with your friends on all this beautiful craft work. I'm sure this will brighten up someone's day during a, a rainy day today, okay? So, not to go further again, we will we will start. So, um, the day I actually... Um, open this up and I just left bits of here because I've been doing a lot more than what you have seen on the table and this is the one that is left over so don't worry they are all air dry clay um, if you tight, tighten them with um, air tight um, zip lock it will actually continue to cap the moisture okay so this is it I open up and do today's project I think I will do a little simple one so I want to warn you all, if you want to play with the kids, it's going to be a bit, little bit messy, but it's fine. It's water-based and how you're going to even let it more moist is just put some water, yeah, and then just go around it, okay? So today we're going to play with air dry clay. For those that just joined in, we are doing a photo holder here. It's very pretty. It's really very pretty. <laughs> I've done downloaded mini link for Nintendo Switch, yes, Puyan. So I think you all can check it out. Insects user, you all check it out, okay? Especially those that are having mini link and some um, that, that is supporting this, you all can actually use, okay? So um, also tell me, what is your favorite printer right now? I know a lot of people are having a lot of new models or even the existing model, they are all good, okay? And I, I, I really think that there's so much fun that you could actually create with insects. So you see, I already rolled them into balls. What I will do next is, okay, let me bring you to the table. I'll put this behind. All right, so what you do here is make sure there's no, no crack in between. If there is, put water and just smoothen it and you're good. Yes, thanks for sharing. Really keep it going and, and, and at least this session can actually bring fun and joy to someone's night or someone's day, okay? 
So what you do now, I'm having this. What I'm going to create now, maybe, let us do a Mount Fuji, shall we? Maybe you can actually prepare your, your favorite Japan moment. Yeah, favorite Japan moment and get it printed. Why not? You just put a Mount Fuji on it. Or even the sashimi, you can actually do it once you get to major how this will, will be like. So it's actually quite fun. Prepare a roller and roll it, okay? Not too thin. But roll, roll it flatly and evenly. Turn, just turn your clay a bit. Not to be too hard. I don't want it to be too flat because I want to slide. I want to slide a photo in between, right? I think this is good enough. How I do it is actually very easy. Get a blade. This is also a clay um a clay blade. Okay. Be careful, if children. If you have if you have children, you make sure you assist them. Okay, so now how am I going to cut a triangle? It's just cutting one straight line here. Can you all see me? Hello, hi Shireen. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Okay, so I get to cut one side, another side. I'm just going to cut a triangle shape. There you go. And one more. It, it really looks like cone right now. One more, this side. All right. Here we are, a triangle. Do you see that? Ta-da! Okay, what's next here? You're gonna flatten this, okay? When you flatten this, use water to flatten up the surface. It's just so simple. And get ready, print it out your, your photos, remember? And then just, just gonna put it right next to you so you have some inspiration here. And those that really wanted to win prizes tonight where you get to win the, um, the Instax film, the album and also the very beautiful stationeries and all the, the very nice knickknacks of um, fun that we have, please um, do come and share and comment on our post today and tell us what we're we doing right now and also what app do we just say that you can actually um, used to have fun and print some of the latest Nintendo Switch character. <laughs> yeah, you can actually do party share, you can do um, um, a lot of other features here. And for your information, if you have the app, if you want to repeat printing your, um, your, your, uh, your previous photo, all you need to do is just turn it over, wait for a few seconds and just press here you will just have a repeat print of the previous photo instead of going to the app and print it again okay so here we are we're done with this and all you need to do is make sure that it can stand properly okay so um you just place it in on the flat surface and see it when it can it can stand all you need to do is in the middle cut in between so that the gap here can actually support can support a, a, a insect's photo um, size if not then you just open up the slit yourself and later it will not close I will use my pin here and open it up so that there is more space and gap in between alright can you see me All right, there we go. So looking at the sleeve is good to go. Can you imagine this one will be part of this? All right, so it will look so cute, right? Okay, next, um, I will let it dry, but I actually have one ready-made one. I will show you how am I gonna paint it, okay? So, um, so um, I hope that you all can keep continue um, yeah, sharing this and let's just play around. I don't know whether today how's the connection is, but I hope that you can hear me properly. And um, yeah, hi Yuki. Yeah, it's so cool, Selvan. This is very cool. So I'm gonna leave it to dry 24 hours and you can start painting. But um, I'm gonna jump into the next one so that we can do a few more, okay? So this will be the mountain looking. If you want to do nasi lemak, you also can, okay? Just do slightly thinner, okay? So the next one, what am I going to do? Shall I do a mushroom? Okay, let's do a mushroom today. This is the little mushroom that I did. It's so cute. So all you see, a mushroom here, a little mushroom, all the details. 
And all you need to do is just slip the mushroom in, in the middle and actually just top your photo on it. And it's steady, okay? <laughs> okay, so the mushroom is here. Let's do a mushroom here. Um, it's a bit dry now with the clay. All you need to do is put a little bit more water. All right. And then um, those that join us, what we're doing is the photo holder with Instax Club. And all you need to do is just get ready the air clay, air dry clay, and you can start working on this project, okay? If you, if you see us in a random place, we do actually have a corner that is all Instax project. And it's so pretty. It always brings so much hope and joy in it. So um, I guess time like this, we just need the little little joy and little rainbow right so you create one corner that create this inspiration and 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 strength for you yeah so we're almost done here now what we need to do is to flatten this again okay so um you're just gonna do the um the head of the mushroom okay if you doesn't have a roller don't worry just go and get a a red wine bottle or even uh, a soft drink bottle you know the glass one and you're good to go to start with this project okay not to be too too thin again because we are gonna cut them into half okay all you need to do is put water all around the edges to refine the edges here okay thanks for joining in and for those that's joining you're not too late to learn this because we are doing air, uh, air dry clay photo holder so um, what I'm doing is the mushroom shape right now and if you want to stand a chance to win fabulous prizes from Insects Club which is the album, the, um, the film and also some stationeries please join us, um, comment and, and let us know um, what I'll be doing today and also um, what is the app that we are, we are we are actually um, using to print the um, the photo today yeah and then you will send a chance to win this prize yeah and then today just remember to share this to friends that you could know that they will actually love to uh, love craft and love creation so you see when it's dry uh, don't worry just put water on it so that's why when we paint it right, we can only paint it with um, with um, what you call that acrylic and not watercolor because it's water based. You will actually wash away that that clay. So um, you can only use acrylic, which I will show you after this. We're doing a mushroom here. So this is the basic. Then I will continue using the. Um, will teach you how to do the kitten at the end. Okay, the kitten is really cute. If you want to do a doggy, you can as well. Okay, so I'm just going to do the bottom part of the mushroom, which is the stand. Yeah, Fujifilm Insects Mini Link. Yes, that's the app, but today we, we do a little bit extra on uh, the app, which we use the, <laughs> the company that create Mario, the company that create, um, uh, uh, what do we have, Pikachu, yeah, Pokemon, and... Mm, yeah, <laughs> the game, the game company. So you you figure out, I already give you a great tips on that. <laughs> okay, what we do next is the stand. Okay, I'm almost done. You're just going to create a roll like this. Okay? And then after that, if you see this little um, uh, scratches and line here, you just put water and smoothen it. Alright. And next is you're just going to stick it here it's going to be very pretty trust me okay so when you want to combine two objects together in clay all you need to do is just going to you know scratch and scrape it on top of this layer that create this uh, uneven surface so is this one as well scrape it in the middle and okay. i hope that you can see me properly yeah, so I think this is good to go. What you need to do is, I know someone would use white glue, but I think water is good enough that I've been playing with. And then you just stick on it. Okay, 
don't worry now we need to join them together so I do have this two here all I need to do is I hope you can see me though can you all see me okay if you can see me just just combine this both together push the clay down to combine the bottom part uh, if it's too wet then you're gonna wait a bit okay so you see I'm combining them together okay all right this is good to go so you just flatten it at the end and and actually you just combine both sides together you just feel that when it combine then it will just be be in one because you know it's clay so make sure that you just put a little bit more water at the corner edge and then they will actually stick together all right ta-da look at this a little mushroom can you see okay so um i saw some crack here i'm just going to smoothen it a bit okay so we smoothen it a bit here okay so we want to make it more real what you can do here i'm going to show you where mushroom there is lines and texture at the opposite side the bottom side of the hats mushroom hats okay so you just go around it and create that line go around it and create just be patient and you will see that oh my god it's getting real when you put in the details yeah all right so i'm just gonna go around it so do you see the little the little line actually create the real the real looking of the mushroom there we go Ta-da! we're good so all you need to do now make sure they can stand because you want it to stand on a surface right so you just make sure that this surface you just tap them on the flat surface when you tap them when it is like flat and you could actually stand you know that it's good to go and what's next is i'm gonna cut middle again like use my blade and give it a cut in the middle to actually place my photos on all right there you go it's not really a hard cut but it's good enough to actually place so i always have a reference of a, a photo here that i'm ready i think i'm going to go and cut deeper so all you need to do maybe you just cut another corner here maybe i'm just taking out this corner and for those that just joining us and later um you will also get to win this final products that I also will be finishing so you actually get three three pieces which is one set of what I've been creating today and on top of that the prizes apart um, from this will be the album the uh, the the film and also the stationaries that we have to, uh, insect stop have prepared for you okay so this is good to go I'm just gonna let it maybe a bit a little bit more deeper then I'm just going to leave it aside so later you will get to stand alright so I'm just going to leave this aside here again Okay. and last but not least is the little kittens that we have here tonight which is the star okay so see that's my little cat called Coco and this is thank you it's a cute mushroom isn't it I'm glad you are loving it Kushila I'm glad you're loving it yeah so um, today, you're right, we are using the app uh, which is called the Insects Mini Film for Nintendo Switch tonight. So if you have a chance, just be with us and, and continue um, to share and like what we're doing here. Okay, so this is the little cat that we're going to do. And all you need to do, I told you some basic one, the triangle one, you already know, it's just cut and, and, and cut, cut into the shape and just put the middle um, blade to just have a slip for your photos 
Then we have the mushroom which we combine the stand and the mushroom hats together. Now we're gonna combine the whole entire kitty together. So um, if you're gonna do a structure like that, you break them into um, small pieces. You break them into small pieces. The head, um, the hands, the legs, and the tails. So you break them first. You do them one by one. So shall we start with the head first? Yeah, I'm just gonna place it here so you know how this will be. Hope you're still with me. And those that are just joining, um, thank you for joining us. I've been seeing lots of hearts and comments and share and you know, um, just let's just bring good vibes along, okay? So um, I know that today is a bit lag. Um, but thank you for, for continue to staying with us, okay? Um, yeah, because I think that the internet line is pretty um, unstable, but this will not disturb us. We will just continue, okay? Okay, so uh, remember, if it's dry, put some water in it. Good news, this is how air clay work, air dry clay work. Okay, so you're just gonna roll them. I'm just doing the head right now. Okay, don't worry, my hand today looks a bit sculpture like I'm doing a Michelangelo project. <laughs> I hope that you all will like this too because this is like the artist's hand. <laughs> and we are bringing artistic into, um, into insects today, yeah? So here, um, oh, this head is a bit too big. Maybe it could be the body, right? <laughs> okay, let's turn it to a body. I'll do a smaller smaller head for the head. This will be the body. I'm gonna do a, a smaller kitty. Okay, so I'm already smoothing it. All you need to do is remember, you want it to, to lie flat, so you just, you just don't need to use, um, you don't need to use roller all the time. You can actually tap, gently tap it and make sure that, you know, that body is a little bit more, a little bit more flatter. And then you just tap on the surface and make it more even at the bottom here. I'm just very freestyle, right? That's why all my things are very freestyle here too. <laughs> okay, next, I'm just gonna do, okay, this will be the body. I will do the head right now. I don't need a, a big round um, head. I just need a little bit more tinier. You can actually do your ratio here. Maybe this will be good, yeah, a bit lesser. It's actually getting dry. Maybe you can actually put it in a Ziploc bag if you need it and only then you take it out, all right? So thanks for joining in. Today we are having lots of fun with insects again and I'm Chien from a random place. Come and join us, follow us and see what you can actually create in this entire whole year. <laughs> I'm sure we have a lot more that we could actually uh, have fun together and yeah. <laughs> uh, Thank you, I'm just so... Wow, I know there's so many comments I would love to really, really chat and chat with you all. So, today, um, name what is the new app that I've been showing you to print on this border. And also, name what are we doing tonight. And you'll stand a chance to win a fabulous prizes right in front here and all the little things that we've been creating tonight. Okay, so the head is almost done. The head, you just put round shape and then you just flatten it again, okay? So you can actually see, hey, eh, the head does work well here. Now you need to actually push it up a bit to create that, that little ears of the kitty. Okay, when you see crack, don't worry. Drawing them back again. See, I think this is the fun part about air dry clay. Okay, I'm just going to push it up and do another, another ears here. Okay. Alright, so we got the ears right. And haha, ha, look at the crack again because it's dry. All you need to do is smoothen it again. Yeah, don't worry, with the winner, I will touch up for you again. <laughs> You'll get a, 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 a much more good looking one because this one is a bit more dry, but I want to keep continuing because it's actually, it's actually easy to handle. <laughs> but you know, I do have my OCD too. 
I want all my all my my Instax holder looks good on. <laughs> okay, so we're good to go. That is the that is the heat. Do you see that? Right here it is. So um, next thing what we're gonna do is the the four hands and legs and also a tail. Okay. Thanks for joining in and all the love. Hi, Colleen. Thanks for sharing what we are doing today. And it's a, I think love will bring us far. Creativity will bring us far. I think everyone just hanging there. No one is alone. We are doing this together. And today what we are creating is also something that, you know, we can bring our kids, our friends, everything together with insects and also a random place. Okay, so it's getting a bit dry. All I need to do, don't worry, just be generous with your water and roll it again. Okay, water and rolling it again. <laughs> Thank you, Kushila, Jasmine Lin. Nice to meet you all. I'm actually very miss meeting human. <laughs> and you know, I love doing live with insects because that's where I get to see all the crafters and creative people that love arts and insects together. Okay, so I'm doing it the four, the hands. So make sure that they are all the same size. I'm just turning them and divide them into four. Yeah, so they, they can have even legs, tails and hands. All right, good to go. Let's roll again. Today a bit longer because I think this is um, um, this is actually a, a little bit more detail, and I think I need my charger because uh, my I need charger to charge my laptop. Okay, so we're almost done. We just roll them and make them look like. You know, they are just like a long bun, you know. It's so cute. Look at that. So the, 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 the hands, the legs. Okay, if it's too long, cut it and roll again. Put some water. Okay, there we go. And the next one. Okay, see, we are all good. So I'm just going to join this together later. And one more tail. Alright, that is good to go. The tail is slightly thinner than the hand and the leg. Okay, so what you do again, simple. Dot it here again. And this one you need to dot it again to, to actually stick them together. Don't worry, they will not be painful. <laughs> they just need to be sticking well together. So you just... Because later you can cover them if you over doing them. Okay, you just stick these two together. If you want, you put some water in it. Okay. Okay, what you do again? Um, Scalp them together. I hope that you all can see what I'm doing. Just join them together. You just want to join the two objects together. So you just put the clay and, 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 and fill up the gap. Just fill up the gap. I hope that you can see me. You see, I'm just filling up the gap. Okay. Thanks for being so patient with me today. This is a lot of detail work, but you will definitely have fun seeing your, your photos in this folder. Okay, so when you're done, put some water and smoothen the surrounding. And you'll do with the hand. Okay, I'm just using one of this. And then all you need to do is some water and poke it in here. Okay? So
So you see, that's how you join them together. Taken some time to dry, but it's not too long. So when you join them well enough, it will stick right in together. So this is what I'm actually doing. And when you join all of them together and create that space, this is the little kitten that you will be creating. So I do one more leg and then after that, you will know exactly how you can join them together, all right? So another leg. This part also. You just put some water in it. Then you join them. Okay. There you go. And all you need to do is just scrape them together. There you go. It's actually quite fast to do one. You see? So the, the tail will be here. Can you imagine? This will be it, and then you just follow the, the, the other half, and you get a little cats here, okay? So you get a little cats from here, okay? I hope that you all see me well. Yeah, need patience to do it, definitely. All right, so this is what we've been doing, and now I want to tell you, show you how you actually paint it, the last step, okay? So this is the little kitty that I'll put it here. Okay, the last step that we're gonna do, the painting part. Let's just put some colors into the palette. Okay. The primary color will be good. Blue color. And also some red color here. So what we are doing, I will paint the, the, the Fuji Mountain. All right. So um, let me have a look with this. So this is what we will be doing. So this is the Fuji Mountain. I have already prepared. Oh, a rainbow and a Fuji Mountain. Why not we do the um the Fuji Mountain first? So um, you see, make sure that you can actually slide your photo in. Yeah. So when you slide your photo in, you know that this could stand. That will be perfect, okay? So this is what you can do here. We're gonna paint the Fuji Mountain here. See, this is how it will look like. So maybe um, I will do a Sunset Mountain in red color, shall we? So here, all right. We will paint not too much water, you make sure that it's not too much water. See, if you want to paint, all you need to do is you paint on it. Yeah, you want this part. So it's like a sunset mountain. Sunset Fuji mountain. You see? So one layer, it will dry really fast, okay? Because the top part, I still want some snow on it, so it's fine. So you just let it wait here, then we'll do the next part. Okay, the next one, what I want to do is color a rainbow. Okay, this will be the rainbow. I'm waiting for this to dry. While I'm waiting this to dry, I'll do another one, which is the rainbow, shall we? Okay, so make sure you do a, a few layers, so that the, 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 the color will be more solid, okay? Next is the rainbow. What you need to do? Remember the rainbow is just I was just gonna do a three layer rainbow. So this will be the first layer. You're just gonna be a bit more abstractive. I like abstractive art, that's why a bit more freehand. If not, you can actually want some more accuracy. You can actually do it with pencil tracing first. Okay, the next color will be yellow. Okay, next color will be yellow. Or oh, orange, you will turn to orange when they meet the red. So we have yellow and orange. 
It's actually drying really fast. Then the last one will do a blue. How long the cake clay need to dry? The clay actually need 24 to 48 hours. So um, actually it's pretty fast or even faster. This one, the one that we just did is actually drying already. So the thinner it gets, um, the faster you will, you'll, you'll, you'll see a dry clay that you could actually start painting. All right, so today we do dip a little bit more detail into the photo holder workshop. But ta-da, we did a rainbow. So you can actually do a seven color one, but today I'm just doing a, today I'm just doing a, a three color one, okay? A three color one. So this one, okay. So if you realize I do have the glossy surface, okay, I think this is dry. Why not we add some little dots in it so that it will look a bit more cute and cartoonish. Yeah, so I add some blue dot in it, okay? Yep, I'm just adding it. Oh, they're so cute. Do you see that it's slowly turning up? Or even, it does look like watermelon a bit. Yeah, we're good to go. Okay, so you see, it's already dry. I can apply my Modge Podge. Modge Podge, what we're using for it is just having a glaze. Yeah, you love playing with colours. Yeah, me too. Loving it a lot. We're almost done here. What we need to do here is the Modge Podge. I'm just going to open up the Modge Podge. Dip some of it here. You're just going to wash your brush. It's actually fine, okay? I'm going to dip some of it and just painting on top of it. You see when it's dry, it creates that glaze. You're just going to make sure that it is dry, okay? So when it's dry, it will create that clay look with that glossy surface. It's a finished clay. Okay, even this one. Voila, we are almost done. I'm not going to do this yet because the blue is not dry yet. But yeah, today this is what we are doing here, okay? So, that is so many things that you could actually create with this clay project. Look at this. When I'm just placing it here, it looks so colourful with all our photos around it. I hope you can see it from here. You know, they, they are good to play with. I do have another one, which is a salmon looking one. See? And then all you need to do, before it dry, poke a pin in it, yeah? Or even poke a plier in it and turn it, and this is what you will get. So, this is all the creative project that you could play during this time when you're at home with your kids, with your friends, with your loved ones. Find, just buy an air dry clay, print all your favorite photos and put it on the table. You'll find so inspired with what you can come up with. I think today we're, we're just like, you know, it, it, it's a bit longer, but you know, this is where it is, um, where you get to play so much um, create so many things with this air dry clay and also with insects and you know what I'm actually in this whole entire lockdown I'm very glad that I do have insects being with me too because um, moment like this when I see photos it reminds me so much of good things and I just want to continue to create and bring them into spaces that it actually sparks some joy to keep me going from here and I'm so glad that you are joining us tonight all the way and I can't wait to see all your comments and I hope to see your project too. If you have finished any of your project, please um, uh, hashtag us or even add us um, you know, um, on Insta, uh, Insect Club and a random place and we get to share all the beautiful colors together. And if you want to know who's the winner today, I would say that the winner will go to Kushila Shilia. Thanks for being with us really and knowing that um, I know you are, you are definitely an insect's blood person to um, yeah, use the latest app with Nintendo Switch. You get to have so much fun to create all these new features with insects, okay? And also um, continue to, to create you know, um, continue. If you have anything that you want us to create, also write to us. At least we know that this is what's next that we can actually do together. 
and we will always be there. Instax Club will always be there and we will get through this together. And I'm so glad that tonight um, I'm glad to be with you all. Uh, join, follow, like us at um, my Instax Club and a random place and you will just you know go through this entire journey um, with colors, fun, joy and moments. And I'm very glad that um, you're with me tonight. Thank you for being here. Thank you Insects Club for bringing me so much fun and joy with what I have here. And I shall see you again. Alright everyone. Bye. See you again.